This is Jeff Jennings with Ben Modular. Do you ever wish you could have a single Revit family, but be able to have all the different languages within one family type? In this video, we're going to show you the process to be able to uh, control not just a family and all the translations that come into it, but also um, the entire project where all documentation can change globally. So if you're sending out documentation to neighboring countries, um, you're able to quickly change out or if you need different uh, people for manufacturing purposes and change on languages, you can do that on the fly. So in this video here, we're going to go through and utilize ChatGPT for creating all the translations uh, for Revit. We're going to also build a lookup table for translations and we're going to populate that in this model. As an example, what you see here is a regular project file. I got a door here. Here's the schedule. And let's go ahead and change some names here. So let's just go from English to uh, French. And we're now going to apply that. And we're now in French. Let's go to Russian, apply that. And we're now in Russian. Change that to Chinese and apply that and continuation. So what we're gonna do here now is uh, do one more and I will show you the process of how we go about building this feature all right, so we are now in a Revit family project. I've opened up an out-of-the-box Revit family for a door. I've named it just International Door. It could be any name you want to have. So now our first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create two parameters in this file. One is going to be for controlling the uh, language code. So we're just going to call this here uh, language. And um, we'll keep this as a type-based parameter and uh, we'll go ahead and go to text and I'll put this underneath general uh, any kind of category you want. If you can put a code in here just say just enter capital uh, abbreviate uh, language code and then put in here maybe uh, ESENFR etc. That gives someone at least an hint of what to do so click OK. Now we have one more to also create which is what's going to store our lookup table so we'll go right here and we'll call this LU and uh, language. So that's our, uh, let's just do LU languages, click OK. Uh, we'll make this also type driven and we'll make this a text. Put this back up here in uh, general as well and just press OK. So now we've got two values in here. I can go ahead and throw in, for instance, E is going to be our default language and then I also have a type catalog which I'm going to name in this case here um, we're just going to set up when you're called languages uh, door there we go so we'll use it for referencing so now what we need to do is we need to create a lookup table so to do that I'm just going to open up uh, notepad now I have a notepad file open. I'm choosing notepad because of the, a, in being an international catalog, you want this to be in a UTF-16 LE format, not UTF-8. Uh, UTF-8 would not work for a lot of special characters or languages. So let's go ahead and create here and create our type catalog. So we're just gonna do is uh, do a comma and I'll set the first one here for language and other. Uh, next one here we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up here for comments. Other. And we'll do here, next one is description. And copy that across. So this is the typical code you have for Revit type catalogs and lookup tables. Uh, they define the parameter values. And then the last one here we'll do is manufacture. Paste. As you see back here, we've got that copy between uh, the comments. I'll actually make this even type comments. And then now it kind of lines up nice and clean. Uh, type comments, descriptions, and manufacturer. So now we can go ahead and actually use ChatGPT to go ahead and create all of our language type catalog. All right, so now to create that type catalog, we're just gonna go ahead and bring over, I've got uh, ChatGPT opened up here. And I'm going to just, uh, I've got some prepared instructions in place here to place. So let's do copy that and paste here. So what we're doing here is we're going to create a comma separated list of translations. The order of translations are type comments, description, and manufacturer. Type comments is this example for English, the heavy uh, weight exterior door. Description is luxury wood door collection. And the manufacturer is Acme door specialist. 
So I want the translations are going to be in French, German, Italian, Chi Japanese, Korean, Polish, Spanish, supply Chinese, traditional Chinese, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, and Czech. And uh, the instructions are to the comma separated list should be an index and a number, capitalized two digit language code, type comment translation, description translation, and the manufacturer translation. So as example, starting with one comma en, here's the English translation, the description and the uh, manufacturer. So let's go ahead and just press here and ChatGPT will go through the process of making all of those changes uh, accordingly. And as such, we now have our type catalog ready to go. So I can go ahead and just copy this here and I can now come back into this location. I go to new line down and paste the values. So we now have our type catalog set up for running all of these different language conditions. Let's go and do a file, save as, and I'm gonna call this here, um, add four here. Again, we want to make sure this is set here as a CSV file. There it is right there. And that important is make this an UTF 16LE and press save. Now we have a default uh, type catalog, uh, or sorry, the lookup table in place. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I can move ChatGPT out of the way. And I can now come in here and begin the process of loading in our new type catalog, or sorry, a new lookup table. Press apply. That's done. And now I can go ahead and add is my uh, information. So let's go ahead and start off here with the uh, manufacturer. So let's do a size lookup. And then we're going to parentheses. We'll set up here the uh, name. So this is gonna be for our parameter for lookup table. So lookup languages. Uh, I wanna use is the manufacturer column. And then if it doesn't have a value in there, make that NA. And then finally, we're going to use the parameter languages for our language code comparison. So all we're looking here, that's the default information for lookup, uh, size lookup. This is the LU languages uh, parameter right here. That's the referencing the table. If we're looking at the column that we had in our file, which is a manufacturer. And then of course, we're looking at uh, this parameter here for language and fix that uh, to give us our code. So I'll press enter here and I have this. So if I change this now to FR capital, I change this to ZH, we're now seeing all of our languages all properly appear uh, in the package. So I can now go across here quickly and just copy that. Let's go to type comments, go there, change this to type comments. And we'll change this from down here description as well. And done. So now if I go back in here again and capital FR, uh, yeah, let's go to a JA. We're having all of our languages properly appear um, for the project. So now we have a multi, we now have one family that's able to report in 13 different languages um, on the fly. So we're going to press save, apply, done, and save the family. And now we're going to go ahead and load this family into our project. That's done. We'll go back into our 3D view here. Let's just go ahead and set up this door. So we go to architecture, door, and drop the door in place. So if I go back to my uh, view here, you'll now see we've got this uh, door assigned here, that original value loaded in here for the type catalog. I uh, start for the door type. Now let's control this. So all we need to do here is I'll just go into manage global parameters. And so you have the ability to control something uh, on a, on any family element really for uh, on an instance base, a type base, or with global parameters, even the globally for the whole project. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a folder, uh, file here for our parameter here uh, called language and make this also the same thing uh, in Texas font. So click OK. And I'm going to now go and start off here and I'll just make this one ES to start and apply. So I can pick this door and because you can put your parameters in a type parameter, a type condition or instance parameter, 
Uh, in this case, we pick type uh, for languages. I'm gonna go down here for language and I'm gonna assign that global parameter language. Now everything's in Spanish. Apply that back. So what's cool here is I go back into my sheet, you'll now see we've got everything in Spanish. I go to my global parameters and I change my global parameters to Russian. I change it to Chinese. Go to Poland. We'll go to German. And you have all of your values properly assigned in the project. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Jeff Jennings with Dem Modular.